Got this? Yes? Um, you said that one of the reactions to the destruction of the first temple is that they begin to say this is where God's name is worshipped, not right. himself. At this point, is that like the yeah. general idea? That, that entire that, that idea of the name being a place where his name is worshipped is great because now God doesn't have to live here in the temple. And, and the, the understanding of God at the time had, had evolved or developed to a point where they no longer thought that old way where God was walking around the earth and he lived in the temple. Um, he's, a, he's a cosmic God. The question is, um, how do you reinterpret that promise to David? And a lot of, what a lot of Jewish groups did is they began to reinterpret that promise by expecting not an earthly descendant of David, but a heavenly descendant of David. And this is called messianism. Right? I mean, messianism is technically anybody, the Messiah is anybody who's anointed. But as what we know in time of today is messianism is this idea that someone will come as the Messiah and will, you know, kind of lead the Jews back to uh, prominence and overthrow whoever it is that's, that's occupying them or, or holding them down. And a lot of these groups were looking for a cosmic Messiah, somebody, to come, some supernatural being to come in and lead the revolt against Rome. And Christians obviously thought this person was Jesus, except. He didn't do a lot of the things that people expected the Messiah to do, like wipe out the Romans. Jesus shows up, and people say, oh, the Messiah, and then he gets killed by the Romans. And they're like, what? No, that's not what you're supposed to. And then the story says he comes back from the dead. And then the apostles come up and go, okay, now you're going to kill the Romans, right? Set up your kingdom and wipe them out. And he goes, no, I'm going to go away. So he floats up into the sky. <laughs> and they're like, now what? Now what do we do? Now what do we do? So I've got a Forrest Gump scene again, right? <laughs> it's like, no, now what? <laughs> and that's basically the beginning of Christianity. Jesus was a Jew, by the way. He wasn't a Christian. Right? This, is, this is an important thing to point out. Jesus wasn't a Christian. Jesus went to the temple, paid his tax, right? read Torah. He was a Jew. But at a point, he goes away, and the other people start saying, that was the Messiah. Well, how's he the Messiah? The Romans are still in power. He's gone. No, 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 no. He's a cosmic Messiah. Well, by the way, he's also God. Right? So then they started saying he was God. Now, and then, wait, wait, wait. How can you have two gods? No, 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 no. And so for the next three, four hundred years, they began to come up with this idea of how can he be both man and God? And what is that Holy Spirit thing? The Trinity. And then you come up with this doctrine of the Trinity. What you can see is people are struggling so hard to reinterpret that promise to David, they start coming up with, no, 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 he was a man, but he came from God, and so Jerusalem is still a holy city, but he lives in the sky, and he's in our hearts, and, and the Trinity was actually, it's not one God, it's not three gods, it's kind of both, and you can see people attempting to struggle with what it means to be the son of David, what it means to be a person of faith. And of course, the Jews follow, uh, pardon me, these, this sect of Jews who followed Jesus began to be called lots of names, but they ultimately were called Christian. They, they followed the Christ, which is Christ is Greek for uh, Messiah. So they started to call them Christians, and that, that's when you begin to see the separation between what we know now as Judaism and Christianity. In the beginning, they were all Jews. Does some believe that Jesus was the Messiah, and some didn't? And those who did had to explain a lot of things. And so that's where you get Christian doctrine. And then uh, Islam, we're going to talk uh, next week, like next week and, and the following week, about Islam. What do they do with Jerusalem? How do they interpret Jesus? What do they do with Moses? What do they do with Abraham? So we'll look at that 